How's it going, guys? So tonight, we've got a nice piece of uh, powder-coated aluminium. I've got uh, ten of these power bank boards with a nice holder in them. I'm going to start there, butt them together and see how many we can get on the board. We'll go and buy some more later in the week. I've managed to go all black ones to uh, prevent anyone, anyone having an OCD attack because they come in about four different, five different colours. I'm going to stick these down. I'm just going to use a trusty old Lock top 406. Mainly for its uh, rapid, rapid adhesion. <laughs> right on. Work our way along. If, unfortunately, if they're a little bit out, it's going to be where they stay. You don't really get a second chance. For the record, definitely better if you stick it to the surface you're going to put it on. This 406 is quite runny. Even though it's a dollar a milliliter, it's damn good stuff. Now you'll probably see a video before this one, it's only a short one, about the uh, the cells inside these uh, little single 18650 beasts, and they are quite a good cell. Having a great run with them, um, the three I've tested so far have been 3000 million here. Yeah. And uh, for the price of uh, $4.88 for these little units uh, I'm, ex I'm extremely happy with that because uh, not only do you get these you get an awesome little single cell holder like so you get a little USB charge board a couple of LEDs surface mounted onto the charge board it all, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, add in 650 or 3.7 nominal voltage to 5 volt USB output. If you want to bridge several of them together to make a nice 5 volt output, you could do that. But uh, for their price, I reckon they're great for you. That's Australian dollars. So. A few United States players, um, obviously, probably more around the three dollars mark for you. All right. Ten little charges. So we'll go back to this one. I'm just going to pop the faces out of them. So that's not something we're going to use. That white bit's redundant, unfortunately. I know Stanley knife's not an ideal thing to do this with. They are a little bit hard to uh, get to pop. I'm trying to be kind of mindful because there is, of course, an 18650 in there. Yeah, there's my one I tested. Um, 3099. See, so he's been uh, put back into use. I was using that at work the other day. It's a good.
good. It won't uh, won't give you a full charge on the Samsung Galaxy um, S6 from flat. But once again, not really what I bought them for. As you've probably seen in previous videos, I've got decent size um, multi-pay ones like them. I'll get the SDs out and I'll come back. Alrighty. 10, 18, 6, 50 circuits. Standing in the line. The little boards can lift up, so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of uh, 4 or 6 down where the terminal sits. Just to secure each of them so that when the um, when the battery gets popped in and out, because they're actually very, very tight fit. I made them so that if you drop them while they vibrate around, they're not going to fall out. Um, so you don't move the board when you're popping them out. Alright. That's that part done. Now we have 10 micro USB cords to do that to. So we can get them all in one go. They were twisted up so hard in the packet. And cable tied, like zip tied. In position. A good field of time here. I'm not going to completely cut the male USBs off completely too short because uh, I might have a use for them down the track. I don't know what, but down the track. Cut them short enough that we get the most cable we can on that but we can still recover the cable off the USB point if we need to. Alrighty. One more over here that I was actually using. Alrighty. I'll wrap that up because I don't want to make the video too long and annoying. Basically there's the holders on this board. We're going to uh, I'll strip these out and solder them onto two rails or uh, maybe even connect them into terminal blocks. Not sure yet. Micro terminal blocks, it's quicker. We don't really need to solder it when we're talking about big current. And then we're going to make up a couple of plugs that can plug into this ATX power supply. Maybe into, uh, maybe a couple of SATA plugs. We can plug an ATX into this and uh, give it its 5 volts it needs. Right, guys, thanks heaps for watching. Hope you like my idea. If you're doing something similar, comment down below, even drop a link to your video. I don't mind, share the community around, show some people some stuff. Uh, I may have to approve uh, the comment, but yeah, don't panic, I normally do that every time I get on a computer. Anyhow, thanks for watching, thanks for subbing. This is my 10 bay 18650 charger that cost me $48 in total, but came with 10 3000 milliamp hour 18650s at the same time. Hope you enjoy, comment if you like it. Comment if you don't like it, tips, tricks, whatever you want to bring to the table. Thanks heaps guys, catch you on the next one.